Hi, Rick Leinecker here, and this is another exciting adventure in web development. Today we're going to talk about classes. Specifically, these classes are used to uh, set the style for various HTML elements. Okay, so let's get started by creating a special directory for this. I'm going to call it Classes 101. And now I'm going to open that directory. And it is very important that I stress two things, two recommendations. These are not requirements, but they are recommendations. The first one is anytime you create a web project, create a subfolder called Images, and then another subfolder called Styles. And your CSS files will go under styles and your images will go into images. This project may not even have images, but I did that just to kind of make a point. So here we go. We'll call it main page. .htm. Yes, of course I want to do that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and edit our main page file. And I'm going to paste in my boilerplate code. I'm going to say getting started with stock oh, classes. Okay. Now, I actually need to, before I even go further, I'm going to add the reference to my CSS file. And it's a good idea to do this because I am going to encourage you to always use a style sheet. So what I've done here is I added the reference link, let it know it's a style sheet, let it know a type. Now here's the interesting thing, href equals, and notice I have a styles forward slash, meaning I'm going to be in a subdirectory called styles, and the actual CSS file is going to be called styles1.css. Now obviously this is not a requirement. Um, you could, first of all, you could put all the styles directly into the HTML. Uh, don't recommend that because uh, pretty soon when your pages get more complicated, things get sloppy. You could also do this without putting it into this directory. You could just do it like that and have the styles1.css file in the same place as the HTML. Here again, uh, that works when you're doing simple things, but I want you to get in the habit of doing it this way so that later on things um, are well organized. Now I'm going to save that and minimize just for a minute. And inside of styles, we're going to create styles1.css. Okay. Now, notice up here in the bar, I have my project directory classes 101, and within that is the styles directory. Okay, it's an important point. Now let's go ahead and drag this over so we can add some styles. And the styles are actually this time going to take the form of a class instead of uh, modifying the body in H1 tags. Okay, so the first style class I'm going to define is going to be called pretty text. And you start off dot pretty text, your name, dot and then your name, open curly leave some space for your styles and then close curly and then in here is where you put your style attributes I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase here I've got a font font size color and a background color okay and as you might expect we're also going to have some ugly text so we have two classes pretty text and ugly text and note once again the format is dot Class name, open curly, attribute specifications, and close curly. I'm going to save that, minimize, and get my HTML page back again. I'm going to start by doing this. Um, class equals pretty text. And the quotes are somewhat optional, but you need to get in the habit of using them because the standard requires them, although most of the browsers still support it without them. 
in here. I'm going to type in some text. Moon ain't or is not made of green cheese. Save that guy. Minimize him. Let's go see what, what this guy looks like. Double click on main page.htm and there you go. Um, now you may debate whether that's pretty text or not, but that's what I called it. Go back to our HTML page. And let's add another paragraph. Class equals ugly text. Note that the class does not have a dot in front of it. Please note that. The cat in the hat is back. The dot, or the period, goes into the style sheet, the .css file. But when we refer to it, we don't put that dot in front of it. Okay, minimize this guy. Let's take a look and see what he looks like. Okay, now we have pretty text here, right there. Ugly text here. Of course, you guys who really think the cat in the hat is back is the pretty text, and the other is the ugly text. Sorry. Okay, now I can use these styles for really anything else. Just because I decorated paragraphs with it, such as here and here, doesn't mean I can't do something else, decorate something else. Let's try an H1 tag. H1 class equals ugly text. This is a test. Save that guy. Minimize. See what he looks like now. So I can use a class for both uh, a paragraph and an H1, and really you can use a class for anything. So once you've developed a class with the style characteristics that you like, you can use it for uh, multiple um, elements within an HTML page. So this ends this very exciting discussion of classes.